Welcome to episode four of the Blue Collar Coder Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jaher on Twitter, and in this one, we're going to do what React does best, which is make your own components. It's really cool. It's pretty much why we use React, the ability to create components and then reuse them. It's just really cool stuff. So without further ado, let's go and augment our Pokemon app by creating our own components. React is all about components. And in this case, the app component is getting pretty big. So let's go and create ourselves a new component. We'll call it Pokemon Row. And a component is easily defined using a function. And the first argument of that function is the properties of the component. So you get to define the properties that you want for your component. In this case, I'm going to say that the property is Pokemon. And I'm just going to paste in the existing row that we had down there. Now to use this, all I need to do is change out that TR to be the Pokemon row. And then remove the additional items. I'm also going to remove the key from the component because we don't need it over there. And here's the problem. So we've specified the key, but we haven't given a value for that Pokemon property that we said that we wanted. So we need to add in Pokemon and then give it the value of that Pokemon. Isn't that really nice? Look at that. How easy is that? But there's something more that we can do to specify a component. We can use what are called prop types. So what you need to do is do yarn add prop dash types. It's a library. And that prop types library gives you a set of property types that you can then identify each property of your component using those types. So let's import that. And to use that, we're going to do Pokemon row dot prop types and then an object. And each key in that object is going to be whatever your properties are. So in this case, we take a Pokemon and we'll say that it's going to be a string. Now, I know it's not a string, but I just want to show you over in the browser what it looks like when you pass something that isn't the right prop type. So we're going to pass an object, a Pokemon object. But we've said that it's supposed to be a string. And so what we get is this warning that says invalid prop Pokemon of type object supplied to Pokemon row, but we've expected a string. Isn't that nice? So let's fix that. And to do that, we're going to specify a shape. That's how you specify an object in prop types language. And so the relevant parts to us would be the type in this case, which is an array of strings. So we say prop types dot array of and then give it the prop types string. And that's looking good. But we also want to say that we have a shape, which is the name. And we're looking for English in there. So this is basically the minimum set of properties that are required for this component. Okay, so we're passing more, but that's fine. As long as what you've specified is there, you're good to go. So I got to say, this is how I fell in love with React the first time that I started working with it, is by creating my own components and sharing them with other people. I thought that was great. So I really hope that you get excited by this and go and make your own components, share them with your team or share them on open source, whatever you want to do with it. In the meantime, of course, uh, jump on to the next video, but you know, hey, go down in the description and click on that newsletter link and sign up for the newsletter. You get access to these videos a day earlier than everyone else. You get JavaScript tips and tricks, links to cool articles to keep you skilled up. And of course, can't beat the price, which is free. Of course, feel free to like and share these videos. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. Ask any questions you want in the comments section. And of course, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.